Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. It helps the YouTube algorithm to get this message out there to other survivors of narcissistic abuse so that they can see it and benefit from this information as well. So please hit the thumbs up button down below. Thank you. Five things the narcissist wants to destroy in you. Narcissists are not people who are just having a bad day. They're not people who are just experiencing many problems and annoyances. They show a pattern of behavior, of exploiting people's emotions and finances, and even their sanity. People who can be very arrogant and entitled, where they feel like it is their right to abuse you, to lie to you, and to use you as a stepping stone in order to get what they want, because they lack empathy. They have a tendency to focus on their own needs and neglect other people's emotions, because all they care about is themselves. Which is why they will struggle to build and maintain emotional connections, and instead they will be overly judgmental of you, and they may underestimate what you're going through, because they lack the ability to feel, understand and resonate with another person's feelings. So you could be going through all sorts of things in your life, and yet they will still be focused on what they want to expect from you, because they just can't put themselves in your shoes. They can't see things from your perspective, even though they may know that they should, but they can't develop the feeling. They can't feel what you feel. They can't relate to your experience, which makes it impossible for you to have a relationship with them. Because a relationship is the way in which two people connect to each other. Which is why they tend to have a string of failed relationships throughout their lives. And if you could communicate with their past relationship partners, they would tell you that the narcissist just seemed indifferent. They showed no particular interest, sympathy or concern. They seemed incurious and detached, as though they just didn't care about anything. But they will do anything to avoid having to reflect on this truth. They will gaslight you, they will triangulate you with other people, they will project their insecurities onto you, they will blame shift because they're doing everything they can to avoid looking at themselves. Which is why they fail to question, explore, examine or investigate anything regarding themselves. Because their attention is not on the inner awareness of who they are. They disown anything about themselves that makes them appear less than perfect. Which is why they can't stand it when anyone suggests that they might be wrong. Because they can't be vulnerable. It's like death to a narcissist. They can only survive by being tied to their ego. By this inflated feeling of pride in their superiority to other people. So they have to consistently blame you and prevent anything from changing. To where you may be experiencing a series of unwelcome and tedious events that appear to be recurring in exactly the same way where they may be doing a lot of talking but nothing is ever changing because they have to destroy these five things in you in order to keep you as a source of narcissistic supply one your sense of self we are meant to be on a path to knowing ourselves and when we do know ourselves we will find inner peace and contentment because then we will have compassion for ourselves and love ourselves when we know who we are and we are in touch with our thoughts, feelings and needs 
But the last thing a narcissist wants is for you to know who you are or for you to know what you think or feel. Because they want to define you. They want to tell you who you are. They want to come in between your perception of self because they don't want you to look within. They want you to focus on them. Instead of you focusing on what you think, feel and want. Instead of you questioning things on your own. Because they don't want you to govern yourself or control your own life. 2. Your sense of reality. Narcissists are self-centered. Their conscious attention is constantly directed on themselves and their thoughts, needs, desires and emotions. So they're like parasites and they need to attach themselves to a host to extract energy from you in order for them to survive. They cannot exist without attaching themselves to you, which means that your sense of reality has to be distorted. And sometimes people don't realize that this is even happening. They don't know that they're dealing with a parasite because narcissists don't want you to know that, which is why they gaslight you. It's why they make you question your reality to make you lose trust in yourself so that you become dependent on them. Three, your sense of reason. Our sense of reason gives us the ability to make good decisions and they don't want you to make decisions for yourself, which is why they don't want you to use reason or logic and instead they want you to be emotional to impair your ability to make intelligent decisions so that you're not thinking in your best interest and then it weakens your moral compass and it prevents you from realizing what you're actually dealing with because you can't identify if you're being mistreated without using reason or logic, which is why this is the last thing they want you to do. They want you to be emotional. They want you to feel insecure so that you're not confident to make decisions on your own. And then you make them the heart of your reality because that then gives them the complete control over you. Four, your independence. The narcissist sees your independence as a threat, as something that harms and damages them, which is why they don't want you to have your own friends and they don't want you to think for yourself or make your own decisions. And it's why they don't want you to make your own money because that gives you the ability to say no. And if there's one thing they can't stand, it's boundaries. They don't want to be denied of anything that they want. But our independence is very important. We need to have the freedom to think what we think and feel what we feel so that we can make decisions for our lives. And you can decide how you're going to spend your money and make decisions for your children. Because these life decisions determine your ability to maintain your independence. But then that would mean that you would be free of their control when they want to have the ability to strongly influence the particular way in which things will happen and how you will behave. They want to take charge of you. So they seek to destroy your independence so that you remain dependent on them, which is why they will isolate you or they will deprive you financially. And they will make you believe that everyone is untrustworthy because they want to become the most important thing in your life. Which is why they will cut you off from everyone. And they will try to change how you feel about people because they don't want you to be independent. Which is why they will trauma bond you and take you on an emotional roller coaster to make you attached to them so that they can secure you as their source of supply by conditioning you to be obedient and submissive. Five, your ability to love. 
they will target your self-esteem and make you see yourself differently because they don't want you to love yourself and once they've dominated how you see yourself they've established their authority over you because you have no compassion for yourself and you feel obligated as though you owe them something which means that they have won your ability to love is the exact opposite energy of the narcissist they cannot love because for someone to love they must see you and they must hear you and they must feel seen and heard but narcissists lack empathy so they do not feel seen or heard and they do not see or hear you they don't even view you as a separate person with your own feelings and needs they view you as an extension of them which means that they cannot love you because in order for them to do that they would have to separate themselves from you which is something they're not going to do because they're dependent on you as their source of supply they don't want to introspect and do the self-recovery work but when you have the ability to love yourself and other people the narcissist is unable to control you they lose the power to influence and direct your behavior because love is the opposite vibration of fear you can't love and be in fear and if you're not in fear then they're unable to control you which is why they want you to be afraid of what they think or what they're going to do and they want you to believe that people are saying things about you because they want you to be in fear but when you're no longer in fear it's very difficult to control you because then you're no longer vibrating at the same frequency because they're actually the ones who are in fear of you which is why they use fear to get you to submit to them and they're in fear because they're afraid of losing you as their source of supply so they want you to fear something negative unpleasant or harmful so that you're always walking on eggshells and you're anticipating that they may seek revenge because they're highly paranoid and they're negative and pessimistic so they're always expecting the worst from you which leaves you to live in fear of their accusations and when you're in fear you can't love so they want to destroy your ability to love by causing you to live in fear because it increases their ability of manipulating and controlling you thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon